away receipts so once you have received the incoming goods in the destination organization it will be lying somewhere for inspection somewhere in the staging area so if at all you have defined a process to inspect and accept the incoming goods then you have to do that as a separate step but if you haven't defined it then you can straight away go and complete the transaction by putting away the receipts in other words put away receipt means that you are putting away the received goods from staging to the final destination sub inventory but if you had the inspection and acceptance then you have to do the inspection and acceptance transaction first and then you have to put away the received transaction so in my case it is not there the inspection side so i'm going to simply put away the receipt to the final inventory destination okay so, so i'm going to go back to oracle fusion okay so in order to do put away transaction come to inventory management and from here in the taskbar you see i have initially changed from inventory to receipts right and this is what i am in in the receipts uh, view and in the last lesson we have done this received expected shipments and now if you come down you have something like put away receipts if you had the inspection as a process defined then you have to first complete this inspect receipt transaction so if i go into this first if there is a process defined then it will be placed over here and if you want to do the inspection so this is our receipt number so you see nothing is coming up all right that shipment number nothing is coming up or in fact this is the wrong place i have given the receipt number here is the receipt number i'll give and hit the search button let's see if anything comes up you see nothing is coming up so the inspection process isn't defined in this particular inventory organization for this item so never mind i'm going to simply straight away jump to put away receipts and here i'm going to give the receipt number and then i'm going to hit the search button and hopefully then that previously received transaction details has come up so you select the transaction by clicking on this one and hit the put away so you see presently the quantity lying in in transit or the staging area is 5 you click on put away and you see the quantity is 5 and where do you want to put it away a sub inventory in completed sub inventory you can always change that to something else okay so let it be completed sub inventory and then you can optionally place it a deliver to location if you like so i just found this one so i'm going to select one of them and then i'm going to hit the submit button and you see the put away transaction was created hit the okay button and then you hit the done button so if i go back now to my inventory and let's see manage item quantities and i'm going to search by the item number so give the item number over here like this and hit the search button let's see you see this time if you recall just now you haven't seen i did not check the receiving or inbound it was simply on hand you can also check these ones if you like hit the search button so you see on hand quantity is now 5 previously it was showing under inbound quantity as 5 so if i expand this i'm going to see the inventory under completed sub inventory so this phi quantity has gone and reside into completed sub inventory i'm going to hit the okay button and then i'm going to go and look for review completed transactions you can see details of the completed transaction over here hit the search button and that was a transaction which is completed now you see the transaction type is in transit receipt whereas in the source organization it was in transit shipment okay and as you could see it is 
pending interface to costing so you have to basically rerun the entire process from uh, transferring from inventory to costing and then generating the costing distributions and then creating an accounting and transferring it to GL so I'm gonna run it now itself so I'm gonna go to tools So basically this I'm doing it for completeness purposes and then I'm gonna schedule a new process and then I'm gonna look for transfer transactions from inventory to costing hit the OK button and again hit the OK button and choose the cost organization just this one hit the OK button and then hit the submit button and this process is submitted and in the meanwhile I'm going to quickly go back and in fact let's wait for a while to have this completed let's do it one by one so now you see this process is running so you see this is completed now okay and the next step is you have to generate or create the costing cost accounting so let's do this I'm going to cancel this off okay and I'm going to say schedule a new process and here I will have the create cost accounting distributions program and I'm gonna hit the OK button and then I'm gonna keep the run control as US operations hit the OK button and then hit the submit button again hit the OK button okay now I'm gonna refresh this so this process is running and by the time it runs let's go back to inventory and there I'm gonna show you the transaction status in 002 transaction for the run or in transit receipt okay so I'm gonna go back here to review completed transaction and hopefully this time the transaction interface to costing would have been interfaced so if I open the transaction you see transaction costed status is interface to costing so it has been interfaced now the next step is to generate the cost accounting distributions which is what we are running at the moment so let's go back here to schedule processes and refresh it you see it is still running so it has just spawned two other programs create cost accounting distributions and refresh cost accounting report data see this is completed create cost accounting distributions and you can come here and look for the output of the program see the details so it's uh, probably completed in warning and it's a uh, warning about the previous period so don't worry about it but our period is already open 0321 okay so I'm going to refresh it so instead of completed it is warning now see and refresh cost accounting data is also successfully completed now if I go back to cost accounting so instead of uh, inventory management I will go to cost accounting and then I'm going to look for a transaction so there will be two more lines for uh, destination 
inventory organization atlanta so choose the cost organization like this and optionally give the item like this and you hit the search button okay you see now you have got two types of transaction one is in transit shipment and second is in transit receipt so in transit receipt is the one that we just ran okay so it has uh, not been processed nor neither accounted so but this has been processed okay and then uh, once this is done you have to basically run the create accounting program and transfer to GL and post it in GL okay so and that can be done over here and this is something I've shown you previously and you choose the large ledger as US primary ledger Okay, so this will run and it will spawn certain other programs such as uh, the GL import process and post to general ledger and so on. And I've shown you this one previously. And once this run successfully, then you can go to general accounting, check for your batches. Okay, look, this is completed. Okay. So uh, I'm going to leave it to you to go back and check in general accounting for your transactions. But again, this finishes off the inter or transfer request from source organization to destination organization. In the source organization, the transaction details is in transit shipment, whereas in the destination organization, the material transaction details are in transit receipt, which is what we have seen it here. Okay. Receipt. So this completes the inter-org transfer transaction and then also completes the interface to costing and then from costing to GL. Mm -hmm.